Hi, I'm Ken Perlman, and I'm going to teach you um, today two interrelated claw hammer skills, very basic skills uh, called drop thumbing and double thumbing, and both of them involve using the thumb on the long strings of the banjo instead of just using it on the short or drone string. Both of these skills are directly related to and are outgrowths of an even more fundamental skill called brush thumbing, which uh, I'm sure almost all of you have uh, uh, learned by this point. Uh, so uh, we're going to start with that and we'll run through a drill which will get you uh, immediately uh, to drop thumbing and double thumbing on all strings. So, so uh, I'm going to start out with brush thumbing. And the thing to notice while you're brush thumbing is uh, that um, as you uh, bring uh, your uh, picking finger across the strings, you, you should drag the thumb into the fifth string. And as you do that, you'll feel some tugging here in the large uh, joint of the thumb. And you use that uh, tugging to initiate the fifth string motion. So it would look like this. Good. Now you're going to use the same kind of motion in a narrower frame. And you, instead of hitting all of the strings, you just, you're just going to hit one string. So uh, you'll hit the first string and the fifth, and it'll look like this. And uh, the thing to keep in mind is that as your picking finger crosses the first string, your fifth string is brought, I'm sorry, your thumb is brought into the fifth string ready to play. And in order for that to happen, there has to be a, kind of a spacing created between the hand and thumb. So it would look kind of like this. So as your picking finger crosses the first string, the thumb is brought into the fifth string ready to play, and then you pluck the fifth string. And you always are plucking the fifth string from the big joint of the thumb. Okay, now let's move over to the second string and try that. And notice that the spacing between hand and thumb is a little smaller. So instead of it looking like that, it would look like this. And as your thumb, as your finger crosses the second string, your thumb is brought into the fifth ready to play. Like so. And uh, another fine point here is uh, on the downstroke, you want to pluck through the string and let the picking nail rest ever so briefly on the uh, string down below it physically, <laughs> as opposed to in pitch. So as you're crossing the second string, uh, your nail would rest on the first string, and the thumb is resting on the fifth string. And, and you'll notice that my uh, uh, forearm is braced on the armrest. And the, the thumb motion is always a little bit circular. And, uh, okay, so let's move over to the third string, and the hand and thumb are spaced still a little closer together. So first string, second string, third string. And these are things that you get in muscle memory. Anyway, so we're going to hit the third string and bring the thumb into contact with the fifth. And finally, we're going to look at the fourth string, the, the uh, hand and thumb are at their smallest 
spacing. Uh, and uh, so first string, second string, third string, fourth string, okay? So fourth and fifth. So as your picking finger crosses the fourth string, uh, your thumb is brought into the fifth for you to play. So you can do little exercises like this. One, two, Okay, good. Let's go directly to drop thumbing. So here you are uh, at four and five. And if you think a minute, you'll uh, understand that the distance between the fourth and the fifth string is the same as it is between the first and second strings. So essentially, you drop this hand assembly from four and five and you drop it down to one and two. So four, five. So essentially, the thumb isn't really dropping anywhere. It's the hand, the whole hand drops, <laughs> carrying the thumb with it in this uh, consistent spacing. So it looks like this. One, two, two, three, two, three. Excellent. Moving ahead, you can do a little exercise this way. I was on a C chord, now I'll go to a D7 chord. that uh, you don't have to uh, just use your thumb on the adjacent string. You can also skip a string. So you can uh, pluck the first string and drop thumb on the third or on the fourth. Or you can hit the second string and pluck, uh, drop thumb on the fourth. So all these uh, uh, will come into uh, major usefulness as you uh, progress. Okay, so that's drop thumbing. And double thumbing uh, is when you alternate a drop thumb with uh, what I sometimes call a single note brush, which is the uh, alternation of drone and fifth, which this is what we started out the session with. So uh, the simplest form of this, we would uh, you could drop thumb on the first two strings, and then you follow that with uh, a single note brush on the first and fifth strings. So one, two, one, five, one, two, one, five. And from the point of view of the right hand, what's going on is you're bringing the thumb in to two, and then bringing it out to five. You are plucking one, Resting the thumb on two, then plucking two with the thumb. Then pluck one with the downstroke. Thumb rests on five, and you pluck five. So like so. So the thumb and hand, thumb and hand always act as a unit. And it's important that the thumb as it moves back and forth, moves in a curve uh, and not back and forth directly because thumbs don't like, oh, let's see if I can show you this way. So thumbs don't like to move this way, but they do like to move that way. 
So just keep that in mind. So moving over to the second string. And the third. And there are various combinations of things that you can do. For example, you can uh, start out with a single string brush and end up with a drop thumb. So one, five, one, two, three, five, two, three. Uh, and I'll end with um, this little uh, variation of double thumbing which uh, a lot of people find cool. And it, it uh, kind of resembles a backwards roll in bluegrass. So uh, instead of playing one, two, one, five, we can do one, two, three, five, like this. Sorry. And uh, what's going on there? Is that after you uh, drop thumb that second string, you kind of roll back with your arm and put your picking finger in a position to hit the third string, like that. And there's the fifth. So I will leave you with uh, a kind of claw hammer banjo etude, <laughs> and it's a version of old Joe Clark, which I've arranged to. Uh, accentuate the double and drop thumbing aspects of playing. So it looks like this. To move to, no, this way. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, so uh, glad you find time to, uh, to bring this up. Glad you found time to uh, uh, learn a little bit about uh, drop and double thumbing, and uh, I can uh, I can recommend uh, my book Clawhammer Style Banjo, which uh, covers this uh, in great detail, and also you'll find. Uh, aspects of this and any other banjo skills in some of my other books. For example, Everything You Wanted to Know About Clawhammer, Melodic Clawhammer, and my brand new book, um, among others, my brand new book is Appalachian Fiddle Tunes for Clawhammer Banjo. So uh, take care and good picking. All right, bye.